there, Tip here again to bring you another installment of Apps Untapped. Now, during the super fun happy time we're living in, there's a lot going on in people's minds. But the most important thing people are thinking about is food. Mmm, food. And since many are hesitant about going to the store to pick up their groceries, a lot of folks are relying on the World Wide Webs for their grocery pickups. Today, we're gonna talk about online grocery store ordering, or more importantly, grocery apps. There are some misconceptions about online grocery ordering right now, but mainly that it's impossible to get a time slot. But there are ways around it, and I'm gonna show you how. Just a disclaimer before we get into it, I'm a consumer just like you. I'm not an expert and I'm not promoting any businesses or services. These are just tips from one pal to another. All right, so today we're gonna tackle Instacart. Instacart is an online grocery delivery company. You place an order through the app, someone does all of your shopping, and then in the time frame of your choice, your groceries are delivered to your doorstep. It's like magic or modern technology. Instacart offers a long list of stores, Target, Market Basket, and Big Y. Today, we're gonna focus on Big Y. In case you're wondering how we chose today's store, we used a highly scientific method. Let's open up the Big Y app, and one thing to note is that in order to get a delivery, you have to spend a certain amount of money. The first thing we're gonna do is make sure that we have the correct address, so the app knows the closest available store to shop from. You can start at the search bar to look for your items. Here, you'll also have the option of scanning the barcode of a product in your very own home. Just be careful because it's so fun, you're gonna to wanna to scan everything. All right, that's enough. Now we can fill up our cart. Now I'm gonna add items to my cart by clicking the plus sign next to the product of my choice. Sometimes you'll find an item is running low, so the app will offer a substitute of the product if that product is out of stock. If you like the option the store has chosen, you can hit approve. And if you don't like the option, you can change it to something else. If you're not too picky about your product, at least you'll have something. All right, now that we've filled up our cart, we're gonna check out. And at the top right-hand corner, you'll notice your cart. Reviewing your cart is super important so you don't end up with 22 bags of Cheetos. Although, would that be such a bad thing? After you're done reviewing, hit checkout. Now, you can choose a date and time and write any instructions you might have for your delivery person. You do have the option to leave food on your doorstep to practice social distancing. When you're done, you'll hit pay. For iPhone, it's Apple Pay, and for Android, it's Google Pay. You'll have time to change or add to your list before the shopper starts. Now this can actually be an interactive shopping experience. There's a tracker that you'll be sent via text that tells you when the shopper begins, is on their way to your house, and when your groceries have been delivered. Once you've received your initial receipt, you can hit chat and actually text with the person who's shopping for your groceries. The shopper will text you when an item is completely out of stock, and you'll be notified if you have been refunded. Then the app will update you when it's on its way through the tracker. And ta-da, you'll have groceries. So now you know how to order, but here's some quick tips. Make a list of your meals for the week so you know exactly what you have to order and have a backup plan in case your store runs out of the item. It's hard to make mashed potatoes without actual potatoes. Reserve your time slot. A lot of folks complain that they can't seem to find a time slot, but Here's a trick you can use if you know you're going to place an order beforehand. You can actually put a couple of items in your cart and it will hold your time spot. Also, if you plan on ordering, you can order in the morning. I know, early, gross, but more time slots are available in the AM. Be flexible. Be as flexible as you can. Not everything is what you would have picked out, but it is a pandemic and you have to remember that the shoppers are doing the best they can. Also, it's sometimes fun to see what they choose. It might have been something you never thought to try. So now you're ready to embrace the world of online grocery shopping. I'm excited for you, yay! This episode is dedicated to all the essential food workers out there, the ones fulfilling orders for delivery services and working in the stores to keep us all fed. We appreciate you guys and we wish you safety and good health. This has been Apps Untapped. It's been great chatting with you. Be well.